all of YouTube later. My name is Volleyboy5699. Welcome back. To, welcome to the premiere live. Welcome back to the third and final part of my My Hero Academia video collection. Now, the day before you saw My Hero Academia Funko collection, and then yesterday you saw the My Hero Academia Blu-ray collection. Today, for the final card, I'm going to show you My Hero My My Hero Academia manga collection. Now, before I begin, I'm only eight books in, seven, and I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, but I know there's this this series, this manga series is still ongoing because manga actually started the My Hero Academia. This is what started it all with My Hero Academia. I think there's like 30 uh, manga so far, and of course, as you can tell, I only got eight, seven to be exact, which I'll explain in a minute. Uh, but I know Vintage Dog has a lot of them. You can get them in a big, nice box set, which I should have done that in the first place. Um, but I'm gonna go one by one and show you guys the manga collection. This is probably gonna be a little bit shorter video because it's not much to show. Mine's just pictures and stuff and everything, but like that. But as you can tell, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, I got one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Because my dumbass thought I had book six all along, and I never had book six for whatever reason. Uh, but luckily, Vintage Talk has six copies of it when I went there the other day. I should have got one, but I didn't have any time. But next time I go to Vintage Tech, I am going to get book six, uh, volume six of My Hero Academia because I got one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. But I'm going to show you the, the ones I do have so far. Like I said, if you want to check out the first two videos, I will put the link in the description down below and I'll make a playlist of this uh, mini series um, when this video gets uploaded after the premiere live and everything. So, anyway, let's jump right into it. So, the first one we're going to show is the one that started it all My Hero Academia franchise started it all, book one. Now, this is by a guy named Kohiri Hoki Horikiyoshi. And he made this. He's the one who created my hero academia. This is the one who started it all and everything. On the front, it's got hero, uh, hero. It's got Deku and all my, and on the back, you got Deku and Mount Lady. And um, of course, when you read manga, it's backwards. You go right. It's go from right to left in typical regular book where you go from left to right. Manga, you go from right to right. It took a while when I was reading high school DXD, um, but. It was a, uh, I managed to read all the mangas in High School DxD. Like I said, I've read a little bit of this so far, and it's really about the same. They have really, um, good, uh, it's pretty much, it's actually, the anime actually takes up the book very well. So that is Hero 1, uh, My Hero Academia Volume 1. Next up, we got Volume 2, made by the same guy. A little bit longer. This paid book has about, of course, the back is to be continued. It has, um, doesn't say how many pages, but I was assume about 150, 200 pages. Of course, on the front, you got Deku and Bakugo. And, of course, you got Deku and Bakugo and 13, I think that's what her name is. So, um, of course, with manga, like I said, you read it from right to left. Same thing as always. It's in black and white and everything. I don't think there's a light novel for My Hero Academia like there is for High School DXC, but it has volume two of uh, My Hero Academia. Next up, we got um, th chapter three. I don't know how far chapter three. I think this starts where he goes to the uh, school or during the season finale or season finale of season one. Of course, you got Deku, the villain, and Chodoroki, Chodoroki, and a couple of Bakugo and everybody else. And on the back, you got Midnight. And um, but anyway, very cool. Like I said, black and white, read from right to left, and everything. And if you re watch the anime and you decide to read the manga, it's pretty much the same exact thing. So very, very cool. I know Midnight, speaking of Midnight, I know she ends up getting killed. I can't remember what chapter, but if you watch the anime, she gets killed at the beginning of Season 6. It breaks my heart. Thanks to the dumbass who spoiled it for me. I hope you're happy. But anyway, this is uh, uh, Volume four, volume 3 of My Hero Academia manga. manga. Next up, we got My Hero Academia. Uh, we got the Volume 4, and I do believe this is where the, this is where the Olympic book, this is where the Olympics start. Because you got all the characters from Class 1A, and... Um, you got all the things in there and everybody. Yeah, we already know who wins. Baka goes a piece of shit who ends up fucking winning. Um, but anyway, that is volume four of the My Hero Academia manga. manga. And then we got volume five with Shoto Todoroki. And uh, I think this is more about his book and him reuniting his mom because uh, his dad is the uh, second, uh, second greatest hero or whatever. And he teaches at UA High and he has a very bad relationship with what he did to his mother. And, uh, but yeah, of course you got Midnight on there. Of course, again, you leave from, read from right to left. And of course, this is a little bit bent up because I fucking put it down like that. So it's not in the best condition now. But it was brand new. So, but that is book five, manga five, uh, manga collection. Now, as I said, my dumbass thought I had season, uh, book six this whole time. But I don't have book six at all. So we're going to jump to book seven, which has got Bakugo on it. Now, I call Bakugo a piece of shit for how he treats everybody, especially Deku. 
But I looked around the My Hero Academia wiki page, and he said, I think it said somewhere between season six or season five or seven, he apologizes to Deco for everything that he's done, the way he treats, uh, treats him, and he understands why he has the all for one power, and he will have his back forever now. So I watched the clip, made my heart, more my heart and everything. So, but anyway, you got Bakugo, and Daigan, right from left, so that is volume seven. Last one, I got a volume eight, which is because some of the characters you got Momo, Choto, Zoo, Deku, and All Mine, and everything, thing else. And I'm not picking my nose, I'm scratching it. So, uh, but you got book, you got the bag, and of course you got all the other characters and everything. I think those are the cat people. So this takes place during season three of the of the anime. So again, right from left, and that is as of right now, volume eight. Now I know I got a long way to go to get to get caught up with the manga, and I know I got a long way to go to get up to the anime, but. I'm enjoying it so far. I really love the manga. I really love the anime, and I'm really happy with how my Funko Pop, uh, Funko Pops turned out. So when you see this, I do finally did get uh, Bakugo in my Funko collection. I don't have it yet, but when you see this final part video, I will have Bakugo and probably see me get the day, uh, the day I got midnight. So that is my Hero Academia collection. If you missed part one and two, I would put them in the link in the description down below, and I'll make a playlist after this video and during the premiere live. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys think I have a really cool collection. If you did, make sure you read the thumbs up, comment down below, check out my social medias down below. Thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you all in a future video. Take it easy.